What the fuck's going on, guys? Donzo Danino coming back at you with the part number eight of the Red Dead Redemption walkthrough. Yeah, uh, if you guys saw the last part, it was very um, kind of fucked up part. Uh, my computer, I mean, my internet actually decided to take a shit on me. Um, yeah, I don't know why it decided to do that. But yeah, my uh, internet decided, you know what, Dumzo? Your fucking streams are shit. You don't get people watching you for shit. You don't deserve to stream. So it took a shit on me. I mean, it is what it is. Uh, yeah, the last part is fairly short. This part I expect to be fucking long, dude. I didn't ch check to see like the progress, like how much I have left. But if I want to beat this within 10 parts, like I've been saying, I need to fucking grind it out on this part. So uh, without further ado, no more updates. I'm still working on the the vlog. If I'm being quite honest, I haven't even started. I'm going to start it right after this. So yeah, guys, today is Sunday. I'm not drinking today. But uh, this video is not sponsored by Lipton uh, Diet Green Green Tea. I'm just drinking it for the fuck of it. So yeah, guys, let's get right into it. My boy uh, has Bula's in the building. Let's do this shit. Dumbo Danino, Red Dead Redemption Part Number. I don't fucking know. Eight. Um. Ah, dude, like, we still have Luisa missions to do, huh? Yeah. Yeah, so you guys know the drill. Uh, go to a fucking secluded ass, abandoned area, set up shop, and, um. Uh, yeah, fucking teleport to the other spot. I wonder if I could do it up here. I don't think it's far enough to be quite honest, but we'll see. Yep, not far enough. Choose, uh, you need a better campsite. How did that hurt me? Uh, this should be good enough. Slow it up now. Easy. I hope everyone's having a fantastic day. Yesterday was UFC 266, Ortega versus Volkanovski. Fucking banger. Banger, guys. That shit was fucking amazing. Um... Yeah, that shit was a banger of a fight, guys. Uh, I still haven't had the post show with my thoughts and everything with my boy Ed. That's going to be on Tuesday. If you're interested in checking that out, go ahead and do that. Uh, other than that, yeah. fucking fight was a banger, guys. Go watch it if you haven't done so already. Holy hell. <clears throat> I actually, I mean, I had Vulcan off sea winning, but he almost lost in the third round twice. Kind of scary. Hey, senor. I'm gonna be. I'm fucking take a piss. Full chill. You want trouble, friend? Manos arriba. Until us. Uh. Tranquilo. Uh. Tranquilo, amigo. Tranquilo. Fuck is this about? Ya lo tengo. Where is the cabron? El mundo es muy difícil. Hmm. Tenemos que jugarlo bien. Uh -huh. Ah, Mr. Marston, I knew you would come. Thanks for the welcoming committee. I'm sorry, we cannot be too careful. The world is very dangerous. Especially when you greet it with a gun. Please. Yeah. Tell me about it. Mr. Marston. My father was killed yesterday. The army found him and accused him of treason. They cut out his heart and fed it to their dogs. Allende did this. Then he took the honor of two young girls. I'm sorry to hear that, Luisa. My father must not die in vain. His death must mean something. 
It'll mean that war is brutal and unnecessary and good people die. Yep. And that's all it will mean. That is not enough. Oh, my God. Well, you know I'll do whatever I can, but I have problems of my own. We all have problems. This is about the people. My father died for his people. For these men and for millions like them, that they may be free. While there are guns and money, there won't be any freedom, Louisa. Mr. Marston, the movement is on the brink of great victory. Allende knows this and has sent for reinforcements. Abraham Reyes asked personally that you stop them reaching Escalera. Oh! They are coming by the old trail. You must ambush them. I have my own family. I, I need to, to show you guys the fucking meme I keep Mr. referring to whenever I hear the word Escalera. I have lost my father. If my you're Mexican, you know States. exactly what. My sister has fled. Um, I have no family. Just what this because. is that I'm going to show you. Please. Good actions make you a good man. <laughs> then I'm doomed. But I will help you. <laughs> Out of respect. All right, guys. So if you're not Mexican, if you don't know what the fuck Thank you, Mr. what's going on with the oh, it's, it's a fire. Thank you. Yeah, guys. There's a, a Mexican. A uh, bingo game Yarmy called uh, Lotaria, and um, basically it's just like words, phrases. Uh, it's it's more more about nouns. So um, you have like el borracho, like okay, so so you have your bingo card, and then wh whoever's reading the cards, or you have your big bingo card, and then you have a stack of other cards. His death must not be in vain. Um, now we shall fight even harder to win you have a stack of other cards and then the person who's reading the cards pulls the card says okay like for example like yeah, there's i think there's one called la botella the bottle so then if you have that on your bingo card then you put a usually a bean on it that's what we usually usually we usually do unless you want to put a fucking quarter or some shit boom and then there's another one that's like Sure El Mundo or some shit like that, which is the world, then you do, like, it's just a what? bunch of just, like, generic so ass, uh, family, nouns. But I still can't so, you for helping there's one, like, El Borracho, you, you put that one on there, but there's one called, men, um, La Escalera. And, um, not to fight a war that yeah, if you get La Escalera and you put the bean on there, it's nothing special about it, but, but I'm assuming that this fucking, these guys were playing, and, uh, I don't know why he said it like this, but someone recorded it and I thought it was fucking hilarious. Me, so, uh, you, him, we're all shooting people. I'll show you guys the audio really and I'll show you guys so the video. The difference oh, yeah, you is can't fine, Mr. Marsky. The ideals we hold, there can yeah, never be a revolution without blood. Well, that's how it sounds Until like. This is why I always go escalera, oh. Just enjoy killing for its own sake. You Americans forget too quickly. That's yeah, and basically problem. someone got it. If it wasn't for your revolution, <laughs> you would still be making tea shit, yeah. for the English. At least we knew where we stood. It's more difficult to understand why your own people treat you like shit. I don't even know you guys can hear that. Same here. We fought off the Spanish. We fought off the French. We even fought off the Americans. But uh, this Finally, is what it looks Mexico like. The motherfucker looks and weird and twacked out already. Fight each other. This shit. At least yeah. you're keeping up tradition. It will end when Abraham takes control. And boom, there's this color. <laughs> so yeah, guys, that's where I get that from. Nuevo Paraíso. New Paradise. <laughs> One day, it will live up to its name. All right, shut up. Nobody heard you. All we were listening to was La Escalera and shit. Yo, that fucking horse has a scar in his ass. It is not far now. The army convoy will be coming from the east. <laughs> Escalera! Oh! No, destroy them and kill everyone. Abraham wants to send a message. You have experience with explosives. A little. It's been a long time. Good. Because we do not. You will man the detonator. My men are waiting there for us. They will also need your help setting up the dynamite. I'll do my best. We will do this for my father, John. There they are. <coughs> there she blows. Wink, wink. These men will help you rig dynamite on the road. Yeah. Please tell them where to place it. I'll be waiting up above, watching for the wagons. Yeah, bitch, okay. I was not I'll listening to a damn word you just said. All I was watching was some Escalera memes. Show the rebels. I don't fucking know. Press Y to mark your location and dynamite. 
Bro, I don't know. What are you waiting for? Show us where to place the dynamite. Start here. Another one here. Bro, I do not know where the fuck I should put this, dude. This is good. Oh, so they're coming from uh from north to south, huh? Okay. Another one here. I think that'll do it. Just one way the fuck over here. Yeah, these are not the best spots. Fuck it. I'm pretty sure whenever I blow one, both of those are gonna go off. Fuck it though. We'll see how it we'll see how this plays out. Good. I am glad you are here to help us. Shut they the are coming. Fuck up. Get ready, John. Where the fuck is the sniper? Man? I definitely need to We see will where. give them the surprises of their lives. Well, first, bitch, I can't eat. I don't even know where I put the first one. Oh, okay, there's the first one. Oh, here they come. <sighs> Look, they are coming. Bitch, I know that. That will not be necessary. Put the gun down. Fuck you. I can't see them. Dude, okay, there it is. Oh. Now we went, guys. Ah! Now they are over the charge. What the fuck? Okay, ah, why did this work? That wagon is in range. God damn it! Come on, let's finish them. Oh, that was a fucking disaster. What kind of bullshit was that? That was a fucking Thank disaster. You, Mr. We are a step closer to power. I don't care. My father would be very proud. I hope it was worth it. I must return to Campo Mirada. Meet me there when you can. I will do my best to return the favor. With 100% daily antioxidants and vitamin C. <clears throat> Pretty good. Alright, time to loot the bodies. Oh, bitch. Fucking skinning a horse and shit. What's going on over there? It's a wagon. Yeah, don't mind what me, homies. On, oh, yeah. What? Pero que hace? Bro, what the fuck? Why are these all these fools like running up on me like that? I'll fucking kill them. Right there. 
Dude, I still have Luisa missions. Why am I even working for her, dude? I just remember saving her and shit. Now I'm working for her and shit. <sighs> Whatever. Run straight, fucking Marston. What are you doing? Nation. That was way. Just want to lower my chair a little bit. <sighs> Shut up, Lisa. Where the fuck are you at? You dumb hoe. You always find a new fucking place to set up shop. Captain DeSanta's downfall. About fucking time. Hell. John, John, oh, so I get it. Well, I mean, Marston doesn't give a flying fuck about the politics. He's just doing what he can to get closer to, to uh, Williamson. But the reason he's doing these missions. Wait. Okay, no, so Luisa yeah. is going against DeSanta. Yeah. That's all it is. And the reason why DeSanta and his men tried killing me right. what was because they realized that I was working She's with Luisa. She's a brave girl. Go down. I can't keep up. Shut the fuck she up. She can fight as well as any man. She ain't the only woman I've seen fight for Reyes. Yes, women, even children. Everybody must become a soldier if we are to win this war. That's a lot to sacrifice. I just hope it's worth it. It is better to die free than live as slaves. Dude is gonna go to that full spot Again. over in uh Escalera. Oh, oh, never mind. We're going to Las Hermanas. So oh, banks ain't easy to get into on weekends. It was impressive what you did at the bridge, destroying the convoy. Wait, we should stay together. The army is getting weaker by the day. I'm sure there's more supplies where those came from. We will destroy those too. I get they scare and making mistakes. We are closer to victory than you think. I didn't say a damn word, you fucking idiot. Okay, though. El sepulcro is just up ahead. Huh? Uh. Tell your men not to open fire till I make a move. We don't want to give him a chance to escape. And leave DeSanta to me. I need him alive. We will wait for your lead, senor. En el nombre del gobierno provincial del coronel Allende y del estado de este país, te condeno a muerte por traición. ¿Tienes algunas últimas palabras? No. Damn. Come on, quick. Where the fuck is the Santa? Oh, fucking blast. Oh, there he is. Right in my fucking crosshair. Hey. This might have been quite easy. It. Fuck them. I mean, fuck his guys. I'm going right for his ass. I'm blow his head off. Right 
You're finished! You hear me? What? What wasn't that the whole fucking point? Man, I fucking hate this game. They don't want to see me winning. Uh, fuck that vulture. They don't want to see me winning. Fuck. It's you first, then Alinde! Oh, lasso him. You betrayed us! Bro, I'll shoot you in your fucking leg if you don't stop. Shut up. You're angry. I can understand that. My men will kill you. I doubt that. <sighs> Let me go. I am begging you. Shut up. Or else I will kill you and fail the mission again. Bro, I've fucking been over here for a while. How come my dudes haven't been able to kill the, the last guy? Please, kind of we can come to an agreement. Cuidado! Oh, there you go. Think about what you are doing. Oh! Yata! Look at that coward! Fuck's that noise? It sounds like a plane. If you kill me, you have the entire Mexican army. Up. <laughs> Man, he looks like a fucking zombie. <laughs> you fucking pig! Go back to your country. <laughs> Where is Javier Escuela? <laughs> Yeah, he's fucking okay. shit up. All right. All right. All right. Casa Madrugada. Just hold up there. Now hurry up and kill me. Or just let me go. Okay? Ah. Can we kill this piece of shit now, senor? Or would you like to pleasure yourself? Please, I'll do anything. Uh, kill the center, walk away, and let the rebels take her. You know I know, if bitch. You don't kill him. We will. All right. Cheer right now. Now we're even, Captain. Uh, let me see what he has. Come on, now we find your friend. There's a lot of body salute, guys. I don't know. Bitch, who the fuck said I'm stopping? What have we got here? Come on! You can't give up now! Almost done, guys. A few bodies left. I'm telling you, if you're playing this game for the first time, I would highly advise you to fucking loot all the bodies you can. It gives you a lot of good uh, money. Got a feather. Um. Yeah, where's my horse? There's one more body over here, apparently. 
Can I borrow this, friend? About to kill me too. We all will, my friend. Espinosa is dead. The Santa is dead. The army is without leaders. We must move on Allende now before it's too late. First, you need to help me find Javier Escuela. Alrighty, guys. Got some new leads. Uh, a lot of progress in We was friends once, a long time ago, but not anymore. You're telling me! Escuela is known in this province. He was a revolutionary once, but then he went to your country. Now they say he kills for anybody who will pay. That sounds about right. Awesome. This place is deserted. Is it always this quiet? No. But maybe the girls are all occupied. Fucking horse got out of my way, you piece of shit. Oh my goodness. Marcin, you fucking retard. All right, I'm not that old. You got anything no interesting, friend? This should be a fair fight if you can shoot me right. Holy fuck, the covering system right there was hey, you, terrible. Hmm. Where's Javier Escuela? <laughs> Javier Escuela. He hasn't been seen around here in months. You shot up this place for him, huh? I wouldn't spit on him if he was on fire. I don't blame you. But Captain DeSanta said he was here. <laughs> and you believe him? You must be more stupid than you look. I'll fucking kill you. <laughs> Go shoot up some place else. <coughs> Where is this chick? Don't fucking talk to me like that. I mean no disrespect. You only had six dollars on you, you broke bitch. Oh, there's a lot of bodies that I could loot over there. Oh hell yeah. Excuse me, partner. I ain't getting fresh. Alright, that's enough looting for now. We can go to uh, Ricketts. I think that's uh, what the artist for. Abraham Reyes. Yeah, Ricketts is fucking long ago. Let's let's take the fucking coach. Guys, my fucking house gave me a headache. Pick 
I'm gonna get some shut eye, mister. <sighs> All right. Clearly. It better not tell me I have to be here from, from a certain time. Oh, uh, it's a campsite. I think we should be good. Oh, Abraham Reyes is the motherfucker that I saved. And he, well, he saved me too, so. Where is Abraham Reyes? Here, amigo! Here! Well, 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 look who it is! The American bandit turned bounty hunter who is about to win the Mexico Revolution! I don't know about that, mister. No, but I do, Mr. John Marston. I do. Bro, all I've been like trying you, to do from the beginning me, of this game is find Bill Williamson. How I fucking hard is it for me to find him? You guys have me doing shit missions hey, hermanos, up sonidos. north, even sh even shittier missions down south. I can give a fuck less about all this. Just give me Bill Williamson for fuck's sake. Their energy is easy. You see. It's like food to me. I fucking hate people. I feel I was sent for them and they were sent to me. Good for you. Uh, when I rule these people, I shall be fair and judicious and wise. How so, you ask? Very simple. I know these people. I know this land. In, in short, I can make them better. It must be pleasant to be a man so at one with his destiny. I, mio, I don't do it for myself, John Marston. I do it for my people. Well, exactly. Sarcasm, my friend, should be beneath a man such as you, don't you think? Very little is beneath a man such as me. Ha! <laughs> okay, well, well, in that case, I assume a little robbery will be a pleasant day's work. All in a good cause, of course. Come, my brother. Let us strike while the iron is hot. Vámonos, mis hermanos. Andale, come on. Slow down. Bro, the last thing I need is for this dumb fuck to try you to kill me. Carajo, cuidado, John. Are my sources correct? Have you come to Mexico to murder your two best friends? Not exactly. We were friends once. A lot's changed since then. Now that we are friends, I hope you will give me some warning if you get a sudden urge to kill me. Huh. You'll be the first to know when I kill you, I promise. So where are they? Who? Williamson and Escuela. I'm not sure exactly where. They are definitely in Mexico. That much I know already. You told me you'd found them. And I will. I have my very best man working on it. If I find out you're lying to me, Reyes, you'll really see the man I used to be. I will give you your friends, I promise. Just give me time. Yes. So how did you meet these William Song and Escuella? We ran in the same gang together. Under a fella called Dutch. Mierda, you're slowing us down, Marston. If I remember correctly, this game is... Kids. Lost, After uh, angry, Red Dead Redemption 2. He kind of saved us. And turned you into criminals? Dutch didn't see us that way. We robbed banks, stole from the rich, and we gave the money to the people who needed it more. So he was a revolutionary too, like me. I suppose. He saw that the system of power was rotten, that good people had been crushed for too long, and he believed that change could only succeed if it was brutal and relentless. Make America what he felt it was supposed to be. I America. like the sound of this man, Dutch. Another violent idealist. Where is he now? I don't know. But I gotta find him once I'm done with them two. In the end, he went insane. Lost faith in everything. In everyone. You have quite a story, John Marston. I really am a little jealous. Jealous? Of his poetic potential, I mean. He would make an excellent corrido. A bullfight? <laughs> no, mi hermano. That is a corrida. 
No, a corrido is as Mexican as Mexico itself. A song, a poem, a story, a ballad. Yes, a musical tribute to a heroic man and the great deeds. There are over a hundred written about me. Not the police at all. We cannot miss the train. I have to know, what did you think of Agustin Allende, young? I saw enough to know he ain't a good man. It is bad enough he beats the people he swore to protect, but it is worse that he enjoys it. Something must have made him that way. Cowardice made him that way, my friend. That and Sanchez, of course. Who? General Ignacio Sanchez, our country's kind and generous dictator. Everything comes from him. It is like a father who beats his son, and then his son takes his dog outside and rapes him. That's a very specific example, Allende Abraham. Allende is una marioneta. How do you say, a, a, a puppet? Everything he does is controlled by Sanchez. In America? They told us Sanchez was making things better here. Pinche propaganda. He talks about economic reform, about how this is a new golden age for Mexican people. But look around you. The people are poorer than ever. Oh, I see some light. Allende is nothing more than a perrito for General Sanchez. A what? A little puppy dog that leaves his feet and makes him feel loved. Oh, that's a train. If he has Allende to eat the shit out of his culo, Allende will do it. That's a loyal dog. Sanchez isn't stupid. He knows the only way to keep power is to control the countryside, the best. And for that, he needs vicious idiots like Allende. He's certainly vicious. Allende came from poverty, and look now at how he treats the poor. Not far now. Chuparosa is just up ahead. We must hurry. The train will be leaving soon. What's on that train that's so important? I received information that the army is transporting a vast quantity of supplies to distribute to their forces. Do we have a plan? I will explain when we get there, but those supplies won't be arriving. I figured as much. Today, I get they will pay a high price for his treason. How many fucking times have I hijacked a stupid train? So listen, this train is filled with valuable supplies we need, but it's also filled with government troops. We'll set up a very loud distraction. You can board the train, and then you can disconnect the army cars, huh? Okay. Okay, but listen, we've got to get this done before the train rolls out of the station. You make it sound so easy. <laughs> well, did I not promise you fun times, amigo? <sighs> There are too many soldiers. We must surprise them. Here, take this knife. You can use it to kill the guards quietly. Wait until I distract them. Then get on that train as fast as you can, Jung. Okay. Wait here while I create a distraction. You are spotted in the I got some fucking throwing knives. Pretty fucking accurate. Oh fuck, there's one right there. God damn it! been spotted. Hey, Holy fuck! <laughs> well, that did not fucking go out that well. Fuck it. It's like a shit kind of thing.
clearly did see me. Oh, you fucking bitch. At this point, I'd rather just die. Fucking around. Promise. No more fucking around. Oh, they're all right there. Let's see what you got. You better start running! What the fuck was the point of that? You move like a cat onto that train. Magnificent. Go ahead and blow the armored car and take whatever you need, my brother. Quick, brother, we don't have much time. Plantos are supposed to so we can get out of here. Clearly. 
Move left to right until the zero. Okay. Guys, let's do it over again. shit in this fucking safe. hurts. to give to the poor, eh, Mr. Marston? Very noble, I'm sure, but I need to know where Williamson and Escuela are holed up. All in good time, amigo. I'm off to deliver these goods. I'll see you back at the ranch. Oh. My spies tell me they soon will have the information you need. Now what? <sighs> Some fucking herbs. Uh. Uh. Right there. Butterfly hey, weeds. So now we go back to Reyes. Ah, he's right. Oh, no, but I have to go around. So, set up shop. Right here. We fast travel to Reyes and then we move on from there. Yeah, guys. So far, it's been a pretty su successful part. Um, a lot has gotten done. I think I'm still on track, guys. I don't know. Come on. Easy. Hey! <laughs> the gates to El Press, whatever.
Oh, hell yeah. Hell yeah. I have to fucking have to mark this shit as uh, adults only. And I mean rougher, huh? What would your most loyal follower, Luisa, say about that? Who? Luisa, the girl from Campo Morada. Uh, all right. A gentleman never tells, but she was a most wonderful. Uh, I just say she was incredible. Yes. Let me tell you something. I actually completely I totally forgot about that fucking cutscene. Holy my hell. Brother. She thinks she's your wife. My wife? These peasant girls, they believe every word a fellow says. So naive. It's really quite charming. I love peasants. Don't you love peasants? I love them. They have such purity. Are you gonna marry her? Ha! Marry a peasant? My dear boy, don't be absurd. I'm going to be the next president of Mexico. My wife will meet ambassadors, kings, other great men. The very thought that I would marry some peasant girl with a <sighs> tight gun and the hands of a farmer. Well, I really don't think so. My mother, que Dios la cuide, would turn in her grave. Interesting. Mm -hmm. But come on, let's run. I've got an amazing present for you, my brother, I huh? guess. The man you seek. Together, we will bring them to justice. Let's go. Let's go, John. Today we will both have victory. <sighs> Don't you want to go home to your family, you strange man? Shut the fuck up. Well, I think this is it, actually. Finally. <sighs> Let's ride, my brothers. Brother, I just received word of your fight with Allende's men at El Sepulcro. Finally, the Santa is dead. I am happy it was your bullet jump after what he did to you in Chuparosa. I wasn't gonna give him a second chance to kill me. He must have felt good. Not particularly. He was hardly worth a bullet. My men will launch a ruse attack on the side entrance to the fort. Oh, what? Meanwhile, you, my American friend, will drive this wagon at the front gate and jump off when you're close. It's been packed with five crates of TNT. That sounds crazy. How long's the fuse? <laughs> yes, like I say, fun times. It's plenty long enough, I think. I see you in there, amigo. What is a fucking suicide mission? Remember to jump? What the fuck is going on? Let's go! What the fuck? What the fuck? Yeah, cause I was- What? Oh my god. He told me to jump and the fucking horses said, nah, fuck that. You ain't Good jumping now, bitch. Brother. We will be right behind you. Look, they do it again. Oh, but I still made it. <laughs> Where are they? Coming from? What 
¡Chavales, compadres! ¡Libertad! This is your chance, John! ¡Find the Squaya! ¡Vale, compadre! ¡Anda! ¡Órale! ¡Vale, pues a Summer we up here. I'm here! I've come for you! Hello, old friend. It's been a long Fuck. time. My first Hello, try. Brother. It's uh, good to see you. I heard you was coming. You took your time, no? Come on, you're not gonna shoot your own brother, are you? We was family. Yeah, we were. Then you and Dutch went crazy and family didn't mean so much. <laughs> so now you do the government's work. And what do you do? You just work for a different government. <laughs> Come on, brother. I think we should go our separate ways, huh? What you and Dutch did was wrong. And the way you left me was wrong. No, I hate to judge. I think all these questions are answered out, in RD2. It's you. Or find me. that out after this game. The way I see it, might as well be you. We thought you was dead, brother. I promise. I'm telling the truth. Besides, I can give you a bill. In Dutch, Dutch is in Colombia. I can take you straight to him. Hmm? Mm. You left me to die whoa. to save your own skin. And now <laughs> you expect me to care whoa, about whoa. you? You got it all wrong, brother. I've always loved you. Even now. Yeah. You fucking retard, John. You don't have you the love small to kill me. You always <laughs> love small talk. <laughs> yeah, just jump! How come you can't jump all of a sudden, you piece of shit? Oh my god, he's fucking... He's far gone now, you fucking idiot. Come on! I'm taking you in, my brother. I'll let the others judge you. Chingala, madre. <laughs> Where's Bill? I don't know. Where's Bill, you son of a bitch? You think I won't kill you, brother? He ain't here, brother. He's with agenda. It's a little late for revenge, John. <laughs> I ain't here to kill you, Javier. This is just business. Dude, I get. It. I'm glad I fucking got him on the first try. And I'm, I'm not even lying, guys. I it's been a while since I played this game, and I probably I, I know that there's one that he's at. And it's not like you do this one, you do that one, then he's at the third one like 100% of the time. So I got pretty fucking lucky. We was family, brother. You and me. Like Cain and Abel, I guess. Damn it. Leaving each other for dead. Oh my god. But you don't understand what happened. It wasn't like you thought it was. <laughs> Whatever you say, old friend. Ah, oh, you piece of shit. Don't be sure about what you're doing, brother. You saw me out. Didn't that life we had mean nothing to you? Ah, oh, ah, oh, you puto. Ah, oh, one day, one day I promise you, you're gonna regret this. One day's about all you got left. She's gonna starve to death in there. I hope you and your wife and children rot in hell. You know that life we lived is over. And when we was living it, it didn't mean nothing anyway. It was just an excuse, and we all knew. What I knew is that you was always a puto. 
And you're still a puto. Marston, come with me. The army sent reinforcements. Come. Oh, yeah, go with your puto. Oh, 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 oh. The army Por is aquí. coming. Get up there and man that cannon. A cannon? Oh, it's on, it's on this one. Oh, now you can jump, huh, you motherfucker? Where's the cannon? Oh, it's that cannon. Ah, fuck, come on. Stop them, Marston! Come on, my brother! Probably gonna come right here, yeah. The sensitivity on this stupid thing is way too high, like that fucking wheel. Holy hell. Damn it. Right here, right here, right here. Fuck yeah. Fuck yeah! Talk about accuracy, guys. I don't know if you can see, like, the... That's it? Dude, I wanted to have more fun with this stupid cannon. Bro, how did that make me lose health? Come on. Okay, <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> now what? Two old friends reunited. It is a beautiful thing. Mr. Marston, fancy Ooh. seeing you down here. I must say it's a pleasant surprise to see you. You've done well, Mr. Marston. Now, Javier here gets to see how far the hand of justice can reach. Come on, you. Get in the damn automobile. Can we assume one of my commitments is cleared? Unfortunately, nothing is cleared, John, until your obligations are met. We need you to find Williamson, then head to Blackwater as quick as you can. We have reason to believe that... Dutch Vanderland is in the area. Yeah, guys, this is the part of the mission oh, where... Your wife sends her regards. <laughs> yeah, this is the part of the, the story, guys, where everything just starts making sense. You start actually uh, learning about John Marston and his real mission and why he's doing all of this. Not so much about everybody else's story, the Mexican Revolution, everything that happened up in the, uh, in the north. This is the part where everything really unfolds on John Marston's end. Let's go. Um. Yeah, so we go back to Reyes. Slow down. And uh, we do all that. But I want to get on that fucking donkey. Yeah. And that airport there, friend. Fuck. <laughs> Come on. Bro, that view was fucking going ham. I don't know what the hell they just told me. Yeah. Come on. All right, let's go. Uh. Oh, there's some fucking something to get uh some Let's herbs go. to pick over there. Come on, easy up there. Alrighty. 
yeah guys i don't i think there's a few more missions left maybe the, this this next mission might be the last mission before we make it uh to the north and after that it's smooth sailing so i don't want to say i could beat it in this part but there's a chance that i could beat it in this part i don't know this fucking game uh definitely flew by it was a lot quicker than stupid ass gta but that's only the fact because gta like didn't let me do retry from checkpoints they didn't have this campsite bullshit like i did a lot of driving a lot of other miscellaneous shit that i don't want to do this one i can get straight to it let's go what the fuck happened what'd you guys do here what the fuck oh door we took over huh yeah there we go in a point of time <laughs> Voltealo, voltealo. Quítate, hey. estúpido. Oh, no. Le un balazo. Quítate. Quítate, pendejo. Quítate. Una, dos, tres. Bang, bang. Fuck. Que viva Reyes. Muerte viva a la, la revolución. No, no, para atrás. Allende, I think, is the, that officer guy who I met. I was, like, raping all the women and shit. Escuchen rebeldes. Escuchen cómo otra vez. Oh fuck, not again. Welcome to Mexico. My brothers and I are just discussing the future of our country. Okay, let this man go. And who are you, gringo? I'm no one. But unless you want this town to tear you and your boys to shreds, I suggest you let him go. And you think you could tell me what to do, friend? Oh, you should listen to him, friend. Look at that. You want to risk it? <laughs> risk it for the biscuit? Is a drunk. If I were you, I would, I would pull that trigger. <laughs> Put the gun down, Americano. Ya, ya, mátalo. Dejen mi hombre. Mierda. Huh? Ay, Dios mío. Dumbass bitch. Santa Maria. So you want to settle this now, friend? Or you want me to shoot you in the head right now for that poor girl? Okay, but we fight like men, not like dogs. Bro, I'm gonna. Oh, I was about to say if we're gonna throw hands, I'm still gonna pull out my shotgun and blow a fucking hole in your brain. Uh, all right, I always fuck this shit up, but Oh, you dumbass Louisa You fucking retard You fucking uh, you dumb bitch. Hold up, I'll free you right now. Hurry, my friend, set me free. Bro, you got Luisa killed. What have we got here? Untie me. We must escape now while we have the chance. Senor, there are prisoners in jail who will fight on our side. Can you save them? <sighs> Leave the speeches to me, John. You release the prisoner. Demasiado tiempo, ustedes han sufrido la tiranía y la opresión. Amigos, tomen sus armas y Amigo, somos leales a Abraham Reyes. 
Let's go, my friends. Reyes is getting ready to attack Melinda's mansion. Raze, you need to get Come fucking on, killed, bro. Shut up. Go for the machine gun, Joe. Oh. All right, get the fuck out of my way. We can use gunpowder to blow the door open. We will set up the barrels. Wait for my signal. Do not shoot the gunpowder, the powder keg until Raze is no, right here. Coming out like ants. Humans are crazy for infinity. They are running back inside. Adelante, a la mansión. That's enough, my friend. Now what? Fuck, man. I know where he's at. Traigan hachas! Echen la puerta abajo! There are more coming up in here! Just need to get back to the Gatling gun. Preparados! Defenden la puerta! No dejen a nadie entrar! Things are about to get really messy! So I pulled back because I knew I was going to fucking die.
But if I have anything else, I'll fucking yeah, I'll just start dropping dynamite. Well, this motherfucker gets to stand back and watch me die a few times. I'm over here fucking busting my ass with him. Fucking around. <sighs> Alright, Gatling gun time, I guess. Start dropping dynamites. Easy? Fuck. I did use up all of my dynamite though. Come on! We can still get to my stagecoach! Go then! I'll Who the cover fuck you! Is that? Uh. Away. We have to stop them. Oh, Williamson's with them too. Come uh. on! Don't let them get away. It didn't have to be this way, Bill. It's time to stop running, Bill. Come on. You must be the pendejos I keep hearing about. I promise. Uh, yeah, sure. You always was weak-minded. Dutch wanted you dead. We all did. Well, I'm going after him next. I'll outlive all of you. Oh, all right, John. This fucker just started bombing on everybody. Allende is dead. Mexico is mine. Yeah, I'll see how long that lasts. <sighs> My people are free, and it is all thanks to you, Joe. And to the people who laid down their lives. People like Luisa. Oh, yes. She, she was very brave, and she will be missed. Who was she again? Oh, God. Your peasant girl wife-to-be? Oh, yes, of course. She she will have a day named after her. Laura's day. Luisa. What? Oh, yes, I, I knew Laura as well. Magnificent girl. Like riding a pompous bull in was <laughs> You never saw anything like it. This guy's horrible, yeah, man. Anyway, enough about sport. Let's get back to politics. 
I trust you will join us in riding on the capital. I'd love to, but with Williamson dead, my jailers need me back in Blackwater. Hey, what are you doing? Stand up! Well, I must say, I'll miss you, young Marston. I doubt you'll even remember me, Abraham, but it's been an experience. Good luck with the revolution. If you win power, remember why you wanted it. Mm. Well, travel safely, amigo. Come on. Fuck. G. This is where we go all the fuck way up north. Hell yeah, to the Great Plains. Um, I'm gonna start right. Uh, you know what? I want the fucking. You have discovered Ray's rebel outfit. It will something about whatever. Dust gel. I want to see what kind of shit I have now. Because I know after this mission, I mean, this is a pretty important mission, so you, they give you a lot of shit. Alright, let me see. Uh, change outfit. Cowboy. Gentleman. That's it. Oh, duster coat. Mexican. The duster one looks pretty. Oh, hell yeah. Some Undertaker shit right there. Coming back from the dead. Let's travel to the destination. So now we killed Williamson. We captured Escuela. And uh, Allendez is dead. Yeah, so everything from now on is just solely on Marston and his story. And it's pretty fucked up if you ask me, guys. Because, oh, shit. All he wants to do is just live peacefully and live, you know, honorable, respectful life. But... Since he was a part of crime in the early ages, in his young career as a badass, he pays for it dearly. But you'll see what I mean. Um, um. Alright, since I'm in the north and a lot of my shit's from the south. Or, you know what? No, I'll just wait till I buy all this shit up way the fuck up north. Which is a more civilized uh, play, part of... Uh, town but all I want to do is go to the that one shop to get the stupid mask uh wait where am I going I'm going south okay, well. they're pretty badass outfit if you ask me how much money do I have I almost have a grand. Oh. Yeah, I'm trying to go to this barber shop looking shit. Sorry, mister. Trying to kiss me or something? Look out of my way, fool. The tailor. How are you, friend? There we go. That'll do me. Yeah, so again, guys, I mean, this, I know I'm getting it pretty late in the game, but the reason why I wanted this is because you can do a lot of dirty deeds and um, get away with it. You'd be surprised how many times you'd want to do that shit, especially if you're low on money or there's like a shit ton of people that you want to get some shit yeah. from and loot them. You can wear that, kill them all, and dip. But I want to go on horse. All the way up here. Marston, I think, spoiler alert, I think this is Marston, Marston's house right here. But I don't think you're supposed to go there yet until you get over here. Come on. But since this is a new location, I'm not trying to rush right into it like I did uh, Mexico. This is a part of the story that I actually think is pretty important and pretty cool. So I'd rather just play normally. On, easy up now. There we go. That's one. 
Yeah, guys, we're pretty far. I'm not gonna lie. We're pretty fucking far. Come on. And the time is looking good as well. Like, I did promise a long, a long playthrough, and we might actually beat it this time around. And I feel like it's a good idea. Just so I can, the next time I start a playthrough, it's gonna be uh, Red Dead Redemption 2. But like you can wear your mask and kill all these guys and nothing will happen. Let's go. Let's go. You can still get the cops, but it's not gonna hurt your your reputation or anything. And uh, you might not have a bounty. I'm not too sure. All right, so this is Blackwater, guys, which is the more civilized part of the world. And what I mean by civilized is uh. Everything's nice and uniform. It looks surveyed. They have fucking sidewalks. They have curbs. Uh, they don't have gutters yet, but look at it. They have roads. It looks nice and civilized, guys. Uh, there's a newspaper. Excuse me. You put on weight. I sincerely thank you. Uh, new federal government agency does exist. Dutch Van Deer spotted. Fame downlaw Dutch Van Der Lin, a man long believed dead, has been spotted alive and unfortunately well in our region. Mr. Van. Yeah. Yeah, so I think we, we find out who Dutch is in this particular uh, place. Fuck that dog. Yeah, the reason why I saved all my shit to sell at this market right here is because everything that I have is from Mexico, and the farther away you are from where you're getting the shit, the more the higher it is in value. Dear sir, you know that engine hello. who's always in the saloon was a cheap once, a big one. You want something else? Holy fuck, nine dollars for those curls. Yeah, and around here in Blackwater, he's a uh, pretty known. There you go. I see now I have over twelve thousand. Over twelve thousand, I have over a thousand now. Anything else? Fuck, dude, that's a lot. Holy shit! I'm telling you guys. Okie dokie. I can handle that, Marston. Now, is there anything that I? Want to buy. You don't need it, yeah, I'll take that. I'm gonna be respected in this. No, I don't care. I believe Great planes, I'll take that. The next time I get charged, for anything. Kentucky Saddler. Yeehaw! Golden Pearl Horse Fast Speed. Now the war one is a lot better, so. Well it'd be hard to call. I'm not gonna spend my life savings on a fucking horse. Fuck you. Uh, let's go down to the local physician and see if there's anything I can buy there. Hi there. What ails you? What's up, homie? What's up, doctor? Tune to Yeah, I don't need any of your shit. Um. Is there anything else I can do here? Oh, the gunsmith. And probably the killer. Hello. No, don't, don't come to me. Stop running towards me. No, I don't care. That's your fault, not my fault. The cop is right there. Talk to the cops. Howdy. Need it agree? Why, hello. If you want the best guns money can buy. Okay, so I've been wanting that. Just rob me. Please. Can you stop me? Uh, shut the fuck up. Eater. Yeah, I don't have fucking ammo, or I don't have anything for any of that. One of those horseless carriages just ran over a Chinaman. I saw it. Now, I do if you not need any help care. with anything, just let me know. Shut the fuck up. That's yeah. not my fault. Hello, do man. not fucking put that on me.
Uh, does he have a house here? Yeah, you see, he does have a house here as well. So. Alright, guys. Time to start the last chapter of this fucking game. We find out who Dutch is. I'm here to see Mr. Ross. 107, 109. Edgar Ross. 113. Upstairs on the right. 114. 115. What if I wanted to kill the guy? 116. Fucking security is top notch out here. <sighs> Mr. Marston, <laughs> so glad to see you. How was your journey? Where's my wife and son? Being well looked after. Well looked after. I want to see him. Mr. Ross wants to speak with you. We've had some important developments. You want me to take out a gun and blow a fucking hole in your head right here? <clears throat> right now? You want that? Mr. Marston. You want that? Mr. Marston, I ask you to calm down. Why? Why? I did what you asked. I got you Williamson and Escuela. It's over. Stop playing games with me. <laughs> no one's playing games with you, Mr. Marston. But if we were to play some games, there'd be some interesting ones we could play. Thanks, sir. Like hanging you for murder, or confiscating all your property, like that little farm of yours, or, or having you put in an electric chair. Those are the sort of games we could play. But we choose to play a different game. So calm down and play along with us. Where's my wife? <laughs> you know, I forget, but I hear it's very nice this time of year. <sighs> Mr. Marston, please, I've never insulted your meager intelligence. Do not insult mine. We've done this little deal for your freedom in exchange for all your men from your old gang. You gave us Williamson and Escuela. We still don't have Vanderlyn, <laughs> but now we know where he is. Then go and shoot him. No, sir. I want you to shoot him for me. Dutch. And then I'll let you be. The last guy that the he was uh, hanging with. The last thing I want to do is make martyrs out of all these people. He could be killed by some petty squab or by another lowlife. <laughs> we believe Vanderlyn just holed up with a group of renegades near the wreck of the Serendipity Riverboat. Ah, <sighs> yes. Another group of renegades. Obviously, the first group. Your group has... Well, shall we say, been disbanded? <laughs> disbanded. Anyway, Mr. Ford and Mr. Marston, shall we go? Oh, Mr. Marston, your wife and son are, are doing well. Let's both try to ensure things stay that way. Okay? Corrupt Jeez. government at its finest. Spoiler alert. It's fucked because, regardless, Marston is fucked because of all oh, the people Mr. that Marston, he's killed and one shit. One more thing. Helping them. This is for you. They can easily You're frame too kind. Ooh. See, I have nothing but your best interest at heart. Let's hope it doesn't go off by mistake. 343. I, I have a patent for that, sir. This is an outrage. Oh, shit. Oh, Mr. Marston. <laughs> You're alive. Hello, Wes Dickens. <laughs> Thought you were headed to Peking. Um, so did I. So did I. A long story. But now it seems I'm being put under arrest and charged with narcotic possession or some other such nonsense. Ross, have him release this man. Why? Because he's a harmless old fraud, the kind of man that built this country. And because he helped me get Williamson. Did you hear that, officer? The man's a hero. Let him go. Come on, Marston. Moral degeneracy waits for no man. Let's hurry along. <laughs> 344, 345, What do I do now? Would be fucking badass if you can actually drive one of those shits. I don't remember if you can. Some of you guys might be fucking idiot. Yes, you can, but 
I have yet to drive it, so. All right, Mr. Fordham, onward! Serendipity wreck has been used as an occasion. Hell yeah. We were informed that Vanderlyn and his gang are making. We stop on the cliff above, and you and Agent Fordham will go on foot. I'll stay with the vehicle and keep watch. And you'll do as I say, Marston. Don't try anything stupid. Oh, I think he knows what's at stake. Don't you, Mr. Marston? Let's find Dutch and finish this. Yeah. Oh, it's this mission. All right, I know this. I remember this one. Right. Let's go, Mr. Marston. Hurry the fuck up, you idiot. Keep quiet. Stay close. Yes, sir. Vanderland is the priority. We go in, take him down, get the hell out. Wait, we need to stay together. Oh my god. Are you dumbass up? The reason I remember this mission in particular is because I think there's like a glitch. Maybe Dutch caught wind of things. That informant better not have been lying to us. Keep your eyes open. They are open. I don't see nothing. Or no, you hear someone yell for help, watch. This place is usually teeming with low lights. Loki kind of creepy. Hear it? Someone up there. You go investigate. I'll keep watch here. Yeah, so what are you supposed to do? You're supposed to go in here. Should be like some stairs or something. No shit, Sherlock. Fuck, you think I'm trying to do? It's kind of fucking creepy, though, if you ask me. Go to the end, there should be some stairs, or yeah, some more stairs, and you go up. And there's gonna be some idiots trying to fucking kill me. Oh, look at that. This does not look like a setup at all, huh? Over here! I found him! Good god, that's our informant! Gnosis, what the hell's going on here? It's a trap! Shit, Marston! You'll have to carry this man! I don't think he can walk! Clearly he can't. Bastard! We need to clear a path out of here! I'm getting the hang of this! Look, there they are! Stupid motherfucker, you better not die.
ass. Bro, this gun is fucking OP as hell. Holy hell. I was gonna say, how the fuck did they not see the guy up there with the fucking car just waiting there? That's clearly a setup. There he is, just fucking watching over our heads. Who's this? What in God's name is going on? Marston, lift this fellow into the back seat. <sighs> Put him in the car so we can get out of here. <sighs> Let's go. There might be more of them. No shit. All right, Skip. Christ alive! What the hell happened down there? It was a trap. They were waiting for us. Oh, you know what? I'm having a shit out. Prisoner? This is the informant, sir. Do you speak English? Uh, uh yes, he does, sir. He's the informant. Nostos. Don't get snarky with me, Fordham. We found him tied up on the boat. Then they jumped us. Nice of you to help us out. Hell of a plan sending in two Dead men to ass. take on an entire gang of outlaws. Especially when one of them's an office clerk. Or social secretary or some such. You shut your mouth! <laughs> Some more up there. No, there's not. Skip. Just gave out. Well, fix it, you fool. We need to get this man to a doctor. Of course, sir. It's this that easy, huh? Men. Marston, we'll hold them off. Hold them, we'll fix that damn engine. God, help us. Damn, it sucks that I can't see shit. One, two. Just rely on me, you dumbass. I can't see any more of them. Fordham, are we ready? Yes, sir, I think so. What the fuck was Come on, that about? Let's get back to Blackwater. Damn, that was close. Alright, now I can skip. Fuck. We should take the ending to Professor McDougal. See what he can get out of him. McDougal. Good idea, sir. I just can't communicate with them. Here we are. Thank God for that. So, this is the office of an anthropologist named McDougal. He was thrown out of Yale for a degeneracy. 
We should tell you something. Indeed. But he's been helping us deal with the natives in this area. They see him and they presume we're all idiot academics. <sighs> huh? Give me a hand here, Marston. Ah, Mr. Ross. Uh, Mr. Fordham? G good day. G good day. What on earth's going on here? Kid got shot in the leg. <sighs> Beat up pretty good. We'll send a doctor. Now, McDougal. He does not look like no fucking kid. He looks like a full-grown man. from this fellow about Dutch Vanderland. Can you see what you can find out for us? Do my best, sir. Make sure you do. <laughs> Professor McDougal has been a good friend of the U.S. government, Mr. Marston. Just like you. Why don't you see if you can help him in his study of the native problem in this county? That's a good thought. Fair. I have to fucking work with that, dude. Um. Hey, guys, I feel like we. Yeah, we progressed a lot in this fucking mission. Um. I mean, in this part. Yeah, guys, from the looks of it. Uh, we are on track to beat it within the parts that we wanted. So this is part number eight. We have part number nine and ten, and I think I can get it done in the next part if I stream for a good amount of time, like I did today. Uh, that being said, I am gonna cut it off right here. Uh, I'm glad that I had this fairly lengthy part. I did about an hour and and so. I'm just trying to get into my house. That's her fault. It's not my fault. Don't say I said this, but John Marston is really a big time marshal I believe you I hear that John Marston is nothing but a leather slapping bushwhack. Some of those damn cowboys were used to the 20th century. Um tell me more. But yeah, guys, I'm gonna end it right here. You know, like I said, we did a lot in this part. I'm actually going to look at a full-length YouTube video of the game entirely just to kind of get an understanding of where I'm at. But I want to say if I put in another hour and a half, I can probably beat this game. But if not, we still have two more parts to go, guys. Uh, we're looking very fucking good. I'm very excited now because it's starting to make me think about RD2 because it's right around the corner. Uh, other than that, guys, I will try to stream for this week. It's going to be hard, but I'll give it a shot. Uh, I'm also need to work on that fucking vlog see what I have I haven't started yet I think I have about a 275 clips that I need to edit as well as uh, other clips from people that I need to receive so I'm waiting on that But uh, yeah guys other than that I will catch you guys on the next part part number fucking nine Hopefully might be the last part. We'll just have to wait and see but I'm excited as fuck I hope you guys are excited if you're watching this on twitch head over to youtube uh, subscribe, like, do whatever the fuck you want over there. If you're on YouTube, head over to Twitch so you can watch me live. I usually stream for sure Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Uh, yesterday I didn't stream because uh, I have, was a little late on time, but I mean, it's okay. It happens. But I try to stay fairly consistent on the weekends. Uh, the weekdays is more for uh, work and rest and vlogs and other all the other shit that I do throughout the week. But I'll try my best, guys. It's going to be a long week for sure. Um, but yeah. I will catch you guys on the next part. It's Dunzo Danino signing the fuck out. Hopefully the next part we'll beat this game and get started with RD2. Uh, until then, guys, see you guys later.